welcome back. This is Boss Cooper with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined, as always, by my faithful squad of Edge, Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. When we last left off, Kane had recently joined our party. We never really got to check him out. Let's take a look at him now. He's got samurai equipment, gungnir, spear. He does pretty damn good with that, I must admit. There's his stats. We have seen him before. Uh, but he has updated since then. Also, when we last left off, we were on the moon. However, I don't want to go to the moon just yet. I want to head into Castle Baron for another side quest. Any guesses as to what we are getting this time? I'll give you a hint. They've been hinting at it for quite some time. Now, let's just head directly to where we need to go. It's a little confusing here because it's not necessarily in the middle. It's kind of off to the side in a place that we've already been, but we could not do anything there. But now that we have Bahamut and Leviathan, which, well, we need Leviathan in order to get Bahamut, we are able to come down here and head to the Empty Throne. Welcome back. Who, who, what? There's, there's another king? Your majesty. Don't be sad. The monster got to me, but I have gained the, inter the eternal powers to help you. The color of mist can summon me whenever you please, but first, I must test you. And since it's an old school RPG, we must fight. Uh, we must fight it. Of course we do. Now this is Odin. Odin uh, pretty much has one main attack that we need to be worried about here. So this is pretty much a DPS race. Uh, we need to do as much damage to him as we possibly can, as quickly as, it, as we can. I shouldn't need to worry about healing at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cast uh, Lightning 3. I believe that is going to be Radia's most powerful attack right now. You need to use more Blitz. It's not as good as Blitz is in other games, but we'll go over that when we get to that game. Once again, just do as much damage on him as you can. Do not worry about, well, health <laughs> for anything. There we go. Lightning 3 for max damage, and down goes Odin. And for that, we get 3,600 EXP. Pretty much such a race. Uh, I, I was able to kill him pretty damn easily. Um, but if I should lose the race, he will kill everybody. That's that's how that fight goes. You have grown. The world is dependent on you, and I shall fight with you as Odin, your majesty. And Rydia has learned Odin. Hooray! Now I will meet you back on the moon. And we're back on the moon, and we need to make our way back into the Crystal Tower. So, hopefully you guys do remember how to get there. That is where we roughly need to land. Uh, we need to land, of course, to the west of the Crystal Tower. We cannot go directly into it, unfortunately. So, it's through the Lunar Pass again. Oh, we do have a new enemy. I did not expect that. We have, on top of the Proceotes and the Jukleotes, we have the Red Worm. Now, hopefully... Now, I did rest on... By the way, make sure that you rest on the way here. Uh, your Lunar Whale, of course. Big Whale. We'll take care of that for you. Let's just go for an attack. Ah, oh, damn it, Vampire. That does have a constant drain effect. Ah. Oh. God, I hate that. And we've paralyzed the worm. Hooray. That is what I wanted to do with Rydia's whip. Just paralyze my enemies. Damn it, Cecil. Hurry up and finish this guy so that we can leave and you can have a good amount of HP. Damn it. You didn't finish him. Edge, finish him off. Because I have no hope for, for Rosa, to be honest with you. There we go. Down goes the red worm. And we get 3,720 gil, 4,530 experience. No level ups, though. No level ups. And a cure, too. Cure twos are always appreciated. So, we need to head further on. Not trying to get any treasure chests or anything like that. Dual red, red worms, even. 
So let's continue going. No need to get the treasure chest like I said before, but the encounter rate seems to be rather high. And we do have new enemies, it looks like. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I think one of them is new. Let's go for, I don't know, Flood. We have slimes, a slime, a tofu, and a pudding. I think that the, the tofu is at least new. I believe we have seen the uh, pudding before. But usually they are only weak to magic, which means that everybody else here is pretty much useless. But damn, do they hit hard. Let's go ahead and... Oh, nice. Critical strike and down it goes. You get 1,735 gil, 976 experience for that fight. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I am starting to rake in those cure potions. Not that I use them that often anymore. I do have uh, Cecil and Rosa healing. So... I don't need to use them that often, but they are there just in case. Do we have new enemies this time? No, we don't. So like I said, we are headed back to the Crystal Palace, which does uh, kind of go a long way around. I wish that something had opened up along the way that would make this journey a little bit easier. But the encounter rate in this cave is nil, which is awesome. Well, it probably wasn't nothing, but I made it through, and that's all that really matters. So let us head into the Crystal Palace, and I will... Well, I'm going to heal over there and over there, and I will save outside, and I'll be right back. With that done, let's continue going forward now that Fusoya is no longer with us. We can just head straight on through. He kind of ditched us onto the second floor with all these crystals. How, how are you guys doing? The Tower of Babel was destroyed and Zemus' field has been lifted. Path is opened. Uh, hooray. You will find weapons that once endangered the lives of the new Lunarians sealed with Zemus here below. Well, below here. Either way, that does sound promising. I do like weapons that are forbidden because they're too powerful. Fusoya and Kluya's son went inside. Oh, sorry, I read. I was reading that wrong, even though they're right. Fusoya and Kluya's son, meaning Golbez, went inside. So Fusoya and Golbez. I was thinking like Fusoya and Kluya had a son. I'm like, weren't they both guys? And they've been in for quite a long time. Thank you, Crystal. They are apparently sentient or something. All of our powers are used to neutralize the powers of Zemus from the core. So these crystals have minds of their own and are talking to us. Again, between our conflicting powers exist an enormous amount of energy. Can I have some of it? That'd be appreciated. Even Fusoya should have a hard time fighting against Zemus, who has increased his psychic powers. This does not sound good. Have to defeat a psychic enemy. Don't go towards the core. I like that one. That one was nice and simple. I can't walk through there. You kidding me? Fine, I shall go the long way around to talk to this one. I shall guide you to the path that leads to the core. Hooray! Now we can go and step on this tile here. We shall guide you to the path that leads to the core. That's what the last one said. And it's still jumbled down. It doesn't sound natural in English, the way they phrased it. And we must have every color of the rainbow represented as the room changes colors. So it's down we go. Where are we now? They're not going to let us say. But I do see some secret passages right off the bat, so let's head for those. Do we have new enemies now that we're down here? We do? I think these are these new these are new, the, the carries. The warlock I don't think is new, and I wish he would die. Let's go ahead and hit that warlock with a jump. Hopefully that'll be enough to take him out. That's not enough to take out a carry. That does not bode well for me. And we're gonna go for a cure three across the board once again. Where is Rydia? Yes, you get your turn. Don't psych. Damn it. That's no good for me. Uh, let's go for fire. Why not fire? And then we can try to get that other carry good and dead. As long as Rydia gets her turn and starts casting some spells here, that would be greatly appreciated as well. 
finish off the warlock right here. Don't how dare you start using leeching abilities. Just aim on his ass. Although that should probably be enough to finish him off. Down goes the warlock. Fire three might have been overkill, but we get 9,400 gil and 8,700 experience for that fight. And Cecil gains a level. Hooray! Now we are free to move on. I wish to go left first. And then we can head down here and on to the portal, which leads us to Lunar Subterran. Basement one out. I assume, like, the subterranean part of Lunar. I don't know. They're, they both seem like adjectives to me. Red giants. Let's head up here. And there is a treasure chest. Very nice. With monsters. Not quite nearly as nice. With warlocks and carries. Uh, yeah, I'm going to cut this out and I'll let you know what's in the chest. And for that fight, we get the life staff. Very useful. I'll take it, but I won't equip it just yet. You know, we'll equip it whenever we need it in battle. That way I don't have to cast life anymore. But as a result of that battle, Radia did level up and she learned stone. Which I'm sure will be very, very useful. Okay, that's a that's a pointless secret passage right there. Luckily I can clearly see where it is. So let's head further on. Alright, let's head forward down here into the next room where we find Lunar Scepter on Basement 3. Do you guys see the sword up here? It is a dead end, but we did come all this way for a sword. Before I try to grab the sword, I'm going to do a small little trick here. And that's, I'm going to cast Float on everybody. Surely, surely everything will go fine when I try to grab the sword. Let's see what happens. Go to the eternal gloom of Dark World before you can touch this blade. Uh oh. This probably isn't good. And we're up against Pale Dim, uh, the white dragon, as it's also known as. Uh, we're just gonna have Edge attack, Cane jump. Uh, whenever you attack Pale Dim, it counters with casting slow on a random party member. It is incredibly annoying. Uh, Rose is probably going to be on cure duty the entire fight, as you might expect. Uh, there's not much you can do about slow. That's just something you're going to have to deal with. However, something that the Pale Dim is going to have to deal with is Bahamut. Let's go ahead and bust him out. Now, there is a certain attack that Pale Dim does use that we will counter by floating, and it's going to be Quake. Uh, that is something that can be used. <laughs> nice. You gotta love Bahamut. Like that right there. And it missed every one of us because we're in the air. Hooray! Kane is probably not going to be healed that much. He's most likely going to be in the air, jumping all the time. However, there is another attack that Paladin does have. Hopefully, well, part of me wants him to use it. The other part of me does not, because it sucks. But it's very powerful. We should be able to live it. In fact, I believe we're guaranteed to live it. But it sucks, and I hate it every time that he busts it out. Oh! Well, we killed him, so he won't be busting it out. Uh, he casts this uh, tornado attack uh, called Storm that hits everybody to, to below 10 HP. But we didn't see it because we killed him too damn fast. But for that fight, we get 11,800 experience. Rosa gains a level. She's learned White, uh, the holy spell. Uh, is how it's called in future games. And we've received the Murasame! 